Right, we've all been in this situation where you, you, you maybe park up or you're driving along and it completely slips your mind what time you put your card in or how much driving you've been doing or what time you finished your shift yesterday or what time you finished your shift last Thursday or what time you've, you started your weekly rest period. And what you can do is scroll through the uh, tachograph machine and rather than do loads of printouts you just need to press a few buttons and it will display on the digital uh, on, on, on the display unit there so I'm just um, gonna show you I'm just gonna show you now if you just scroll through normally it gives you the basics of the day's work so as you can see I've been uh, on break now for 27 minutes I had a break earlier in the day for maybe 15-16 minutes which added to the 27 adds up to the 42 though but that's kind of irrelevant at the moment so if you scroll through it's, there's not a right lot of information that's any use other than it's telling you what you what mode you're on at the moment and how long you've been on it so for example if I wanted to find out what time I started this morning all you need to do press OK now this seems a bit odd but when the print symbol comes up press OK again so you want to display the information just a minute my arms are you want to display the information up there for this 24 hour period to see what time you started so you press OK again that's today's date so you select OK now it gives you the option of either looking at it via the printer so it'll do a printout so if you wanted to do a printout now you just press OK just to show you I'll press OK Anyway, so that, I can look at that, yeah, printer out of paper, right, so I can look at that and that'll tell me what time I started this morning, so let me just have a quick, just a minute, I've dropped it on the floor. This morning, let's see, 22nd, if you look under the date, you'll see the break symbol from midnight to 6am, that's when I put the card in, and then underneath that you'll see the other work from 6am for 4 minutes, that was my manual entry because I actually put the, vi the uh, card in, as you can see, at 4 minutes past 6 and then obviously you can see other work driving, other work driving, other work driving, other work. that's just stop starting traffic right so back up here out of paper so I'll just ok that for a second so we want the 24 hour display card of today, yes today's date again, yes printer, we don't want the printer this time, we want to look at it on the display so you just scroll you probably scroll up or down here, yeah. scroll up or down until it says display, press OK. Gives today's date. So once you start scrolling down, it'll give you all the information that's on the uh, top of the uh, printout. Obviously the vehicle reg number where it's been calibrated, all the stuff that really you don't need to know. It'll also display your start mileage in case you forgot your start mileage because you've not done your paperwork and written it down. 
top. Right, so as you can see, between midnight again and 6am, the card wasn't in. Then it's other work from 6 till 4, which I manually inputted there because I put my card in at 4 minutes past 6. You can also scroll through, just keep going, and if you've forgotten how many hours you've been driving in so far today, it'll say it all and it'll add it all together. So even if you've driven four hours something and then three hours, it adds it all up and gives you the total at the bottom. You can do this any time, the vehicle's stationary, or you can do it at the end of your shift just to uh, clarify. So, so far, so that's the current mileage and that's the total mileage underneath that I've done so far today. I was telling you the card went in at six at that mileage. So, so far today I've been driving for four hours and 14 minutes and done 160k. I've been on other work for three hours and 30 minutes. Next to it would be period of availability which I haven't had today. And that's over the 24, that's the 24 hour period starting from midnight, seven hours break. So that's from midnight to 6am plus what I've totaled during the day. So in a way that's kind of irrelevant when you're working out what time you started. So then you can go back and if for example you forgot what time you finished last night back to the 24 hour uh, prompt yes so yesterday with the 21st so if you drop down to the 21st on the display and press ok you can do a printout again if you want like before or just display it up there so I'll give it a sec to uh, suss itself out Bleeding, scrolling. So then again, as you can see, I was on break. Well, I wasn't in the vehicle from midnight for five hours to 5 a.m. But I put the card in at four minutes past five and manually inputted other work for four minutes. So that's the start mileage yesterday as well that we just scrolled past. So again, if you forgot what your mileage was, you can scroll through and away you go again. And like the last thing, let's just see, I'll scroll through. Because I forgot what time I finished last night, which is important if you're trying to work out your hours, whether you used um, a reduced rest period or anything like that. So there we go, it's 16 minutes past, uh, 6 minutes past 4 I parked up, having done 456 kilometres. Other work, till, I took the car, sorry, I took the car out at 16.52, but then recorded 8 minutes of other work, because I finished at 1700. And as you can see there, it says, break from 1700 for seven hours so that takes you up to midnight and then from midnight to 6 a.m this morning so you had the seven to the six so i had 13 hours off Whew, my arm's really aching now but you you can I'm just and then to go back to what you might call the home screen just keep going back and there you go um, the only other thing when you do scroll through the dates you can you can go back as far as you want as long as the information's on the card so even two three weeks ago if you finish one day at a particular time and your boss is uh, querying it you can scroll back through hope that was easy to understand 
but I'm trying to rush a bit because it's really uh, painful on my arms holding this camera up. So that's how you do it on the uh, sto on the Stone Ridge one. And just to show you how professional I am, here we have two spur rolls of uh, digital tachograph paper and I've also got one in my bag before you start sending messages saying oh you shouldn't be driving me no paper in and you should have spur rolls well I have look here yeah. looks like somewhere else actually but uh, I'll just take uh, I'll just put it in now <laughs> so on these uh, Storm Ridge ones all you do you pull the little flap there pull this little housing out and go let me just grab my hand Pull the little housing out and go. It's better down here. So that's like a little astray with a little wheel on the back. So all you're doing is get the new the new roll. I'm trying to do this all left-handed now, so just bear with me. Plop it in. Just a minute. Right, so you plop. Can you see there with that light? Anyway, you plop the roll and you just roll it underneath so it spins on the wheel. Just have a little bit hanging out at the bottom. Seems a bit odd because there isn't a, a a slot for it like a little letterbox you just have it hanging it flopping on the bottom like that so then we go back up here put it back in close it and that's it so I'll just do a printout to make sure it is in properly let's see what happens There we go, that's a new roll of tape in as well for you. I'll let you have that one, you can have that. So rather than doing that every time you need to check up on, uh, like I said before, on your activities, just sc scroll through the dis dis display. You're not wasting that paper because it's quite expensive and it's... Uh, a lot easier. Thank you.